Good afternoon, welcome on in for the first round of today's from day one. And instead of a chest of balloons, I figured we'd give yourself a little look back over at the Krakens and even at Guild Wars, which we'll have before this particular part one episode concludes. Let's start up though at Titan Alley. As we'll pick up the Titan Tastic. Act, act. Might help if I, you know, speak English. Instead of Turbotastic, the Titan Tastic activities up in Titan Valley, which includes doing your bra Black Ball of the Day, your upgrading of the Titan of the Day, and then the fight in the Tournament of the Elements. Also, as you can see here, I actually do have all three totem fragments unlocked. Earth is at the two-star version. Fire and water are both at one star. And let's start today's Tournament of the Elements. As many stages as you can get through, I've been stuck forever, just like over on the From Day 1 server at Stage 6. You'll notice the power levels rank based on you. So by the time I get to Stage 6, I'm going to be seeing four, five, six, seven hundred thousand 700,000 Titan level powers. Or you'd be lucky to see maybe 3350 on the From Day 1 server. So we're at stage three. Let's crack those bad boys. Perfect. Not well, just about perfect. Alrighty, stage four. Here we go. I'll see if the media server works to get us a little music backtrack as we go through here. And so I'll try to get that loading on the other machine. And one shy of completing round five. It's an Earth team, so it should be just a fluke. So let's run it again. And since we're fighting with Titans, let's have some Titan music. Five ain't gonna do anything. Let's fade out the Titans. Do a speed through, see if it gets any better. Nope. Oh, another nine. 
Here we run is putting a couple more points on the board, but won't give it many more cracks. Well, that one improved by 39. As long as we keep improving, I'll give it one more shot. I did not expect to be out of eggs. <laughs> It'll do much change, but let's give it a crack.
understand that this guy had a three or four star totem, but a one star totem, this should not be that freaking hard to ca crack through. At least you would think. As I said, I proved that I do worse. very first attack.
And also, those of you who haven't been on this morning should have seen the new notice for the new hero coming to Hero Wars. And that being the genie-shaped... I think she was called Amira, if I remember right. Second year, I actually will pull it up as we continue to set everybody. Let's say I thought I had the Hero Wars main channel on my list. Media player. There it is, Amira. That's the name, Amira. Play the audio. Oh. Ugly very well. Tell me, what is your greatest desire? Is it wealth beyond your wildest dreams? Or you wish to cheat death and live forever? read that second ability of this new Amira. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There we go. Increases enemies agi uh, sorry, increases enemies agility's hero's critical hit chance. But now they're all of their critical hits miss the target. That sounds like the biggest Yasmin counter I've ever heard. Also, Dante for that same situation. Also increases enemy intelligence heroes incoming healing, but it reduces their magic attack. Creates an illusion for enemy strength heroes. They will now do anything to try to protect and buff it. Of course, then we get a seven-day game, kind of like we did last year for Alvinor. In the Mystery of Golden Sun, starting April 7th, a.k.a. Thursday night into Friday, on Hero Wars. Which really means that probably either Wednesday or Thursday, we should be getting a live stream from them, which will mean more goody 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 freebies for all of us. Probably some portal charges and the like. Uh, who do I want to take up? I might want to start playing with Leon. Let's take her to 50. Okay. Here we go. If you remember from the from day one server, there is a guy who's running just a solo land in arena and doing pretty guard darn well. Doing that because one of Leon's abilities is to go ahead and charm the enemy heroes. That charm breaks if anyone other than Leon attacks him. So, 
got rid of that by making sure that Leon is the only person on the team. Basically just requiring to make sure that Leon can survive long enough until she's able to do that charming. Alright, let's do our three so we can get our credit for the day. That's another thing. Once you do hit level 130, instead of the XP, you actually get the little boxes. Those are those honorable guardian boxes that we did open with in Chestapalooza back on the 3rd, I believe, is when that episode came out. That was the 405 count of items we had. That's where we had that. YouTube, why would I want a video for an RV sales dealership? In my YouTube video feed. <laughs> it's called No. <laughs> it's called Really No. And the other thing when you do make 130 is that you get the lovely, lovely. Bonus way to do the tower. And that's all you gotta do is click on the little guy there. Click on choose chests. And away we go. Up the tower you avoid all fights. All you have to do all the way up is to win. Something for this video, but something I will want to take a look at. Let me bookmark this. Add to my watch later list. Something that might come in a later episode. As we keep picking up. Yeah, let's we need some more music, so let's get something going. There we go.
let's stop the music because I promised a look at the Guild War before we wrap this up. Of course, we will have our auditors, subsets, frauditors, and Karens in the evening. And of course, another section of Arc Bell with Night Terrors in the overnight. So be with us for both of those episodes later today. But let's get up and take a look. We're currently in the middle of a Guild War versus Pacbet, P-A-C-C, three E T. Currently leading seven sixty, playing three twenty six, and we've totally cleared out the Citadel. Nice on the offense. Fully done the barracks as well. One more left on the foundry. One left on the basket of ice. And here, of course, the general commands. Now, this is where fighters get assigned. And you see, since I do have general abilities, I can click the little X to unassign if I want to from here. Otherwise, you can actually go to the individual item. And see a sign. If you wanted to remove somebody from an assignment, you just click the little X, and then it comes up, gives you select attacker, and then you can assign who you wish to go ahead and complete the deal. Go over here, you see the opponent set. They've taken the bridge down, they've got the Bastion of Fire, two out of six in the Citadel, two out of the three Spring of Elements, and they have done nothing else. Of course, you can then set for tomorrow. Basically, I can click on any of these and take anybody out, shuffle it around. You can also come in here to assign individuals. Enable to rock and roll. So until then, of course, please like, share, and subscribe. Help us get to the goal of 50,000 views, 1,000 subscribers. So Boxy over next door sends us those nice red packages and Google puts us on the map and goes ahead and starts sharing us out in the ecosystem. Coinbase, Ibotta, and Game.gg all there to be able to rock and roll. Get your free money from them and use them whether you want it in Dominion or elsewhere. And again, until the auditors in the evening ends, Archipel as we march through the overnight... Like, share, and subscribe, be kind to one another, and release the Krakens as we march along here from day one. Have a great morning, uh, afternoon, and we'll see you tonight.